Well, I have something to show you, some comparisons to show you. If you've clicked on this video, maybe it is the answer to a question that you've been looking for. So welcome and thank you for joining me. I am extremely pleased that I can actually show this example of what is a root and what is a flower spike? How do they actually look? And we're staring at the stem of my Crestwood Tomorrow Star, my Ungracum Crestwood Tomorrow Star. It's two years in my collection and it had, when I bought it, a five year to blooming time frame. But I'm thinking that we have at least reached spike phase. Know that any first time bloomer can abort a spike, not develop the buds, blast the buds and all these things. It's just the orchid maturing into what it is going to do the next time around, hopefully. So I'm, I'm quite happy to be able to show right now the difference between a root and a spike on my Ungracum Crestwood Tomorrow Star. And I'll show the same on my Ungracum Bossery over there because it is also in spike. But the, the Tomorrow Star is a little bit more, let's say, confusing or, well, harder to judge if there is even that terminology because on the tomorrow star or the engracums these uh, sesquipedali the vechi and these crosses the roots do also come out of the same place as a spike would so straight in the middle right in the middle of the apex of the leaf Normally, that is where a spike would come, and that's why it's easy to differentiate. Okay, now that's a spike as opposed to a root. And as you can see, the bossery as well, the roots coming straight out from the middle of the stem has the same attribute on the tomorrow star, comes straight out from the stem. But you can see how many roots have developed on the apex of the leaf joint where normally a spike would come out. But there is a very profound difference with regards to a root and how a spike looks. Now, a new root will also have something that looks like this, which you could assume is a root tip. But the root tips are always backed by a silvery vellum. You can see how silvery and metallic that is. And this determines it's a root coming out of the apex as opposed to the spike that is green all the way. Now, Ungracums are known for very, very large and long root tips. And I'm going to try and show you without trying to move the plant. I am hard culturing a root tip of epic proportions back here. If you can see that, look how long that green part is of the root. And that would also make you think that this could be a root tip, but it's not. And it's not because there's no metallic on the back. By now, there should be signs of some kind of a metallic of the vellum already drying up and protecting the new root, but it's not the case here. And that is a spike. The difference between a spike on an engracum as opposed to a root, especially when the roots have the tendency of growing in the leaf joints. Now I'm going to move to the bossery. It's an easier example but still impressive nonetheless. I'm also growing a massive root tip using the hedge for humidity. You can see it back in there, how green and long that is. That's almost like two centimeters of length of a root tip. And then look at the spikes, how they are. And they have this coating over the top. You can see the joints and the sections of the spike developing. That's not something you see on the root tips. Now again, with the bossery, it's so much easier because it doesn't have the tendency to grow roots in the leaf joints. 
So anything growing leaf joint wise, it is very obvious to identify it as a spike as opposed to getting confused with a root. That's not the case here. With the Becciais, the Sesquipedales, and the crosses as you have got here, this is the Crestwood Tomorrow Star, with roots growing in the leaf joints. As opposed to seeing what a spike looks like growing in a leaf joint. I'm going to take you now to another little angrecoid where it is super obvious, but I just want to take the opportunity now that I have them all in spike. This is my Leonis. And this is obviously a spike, but when you see it for the first time, it's just a little like dot in the apex of the leaf joint as well. But it is easy to identify as a spike because look at how the roots are. These are not big roots. These are not difficult to confuse with a spike. Now, mine is still a young one, so it'll be nice to see if it'll make it and bloom out. I need to know which Leonis it is, but I can assure you that normally there are no roots coming from the apex of the plant. Until a leaf drops, there won't be any more roots forming up and throughout the stem of this Angraecum. Leonis is in spike, and it's easy to see the difference, roots as opposed to spike. And that's, for me, just a little heads up if you had the question. I hope I could answer that for you. And let's hope that these two, three, <laughs> never forget the little one, will actually have the strength and the maturity to bloom. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.